Good afternoon, everybody on YouTube. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. All right, guys. <clears throat> this is a part two to the video I just posted about the Ampex one-inch tapes, which came from NASA. Which are uh, these are black and white tapes, as I as I spoke in a previous video. They are low band black and white. All right, guys. There are several different machines that were made by Ampex for the Type A format. Okay. So today, I dug out the manual that came with these tapes to see if I could do a little uh, investigation on what machine was used um, and get an idea of the type of uh, setup that NASA had during that time. All right, so we're going to show you a few things. First of all, this tape was recorded in 71, Ampex black and white, right? It's a black and white recording. All right. The book or the service manual or the instruction book that came with these tapes, which also came out of NASA, um, shows two machines, okay? Now, first of all, this is the VR5100, and you notice it's a black and white machine, but it also has two knobs for recording off television. It had channel changing for, you know, 2, 5, 6, 7, 9, you know, all the channel changing you have on it for UHF and VHF type of recording off TV type of thing. It had a setup for recording directly off TV. So it's a black and white machine with a built-in tuner for recording off television. Also, they have in this very same book, they must have had two, two machines uh, there at NASA. Maybe they had multiple ones of these same units. I don't know. But at NASA, it seems like they had a VR7000 as well, which is the machine I'm getting this week which is a black and white machine, which will play any of these back. It's, it's the same format, same layout. Now, the best, the best I could figure out from this is it looks like the NASA recorded maybe off-air or in-studio or in-house recording during the uh, Apollo 14 uh, uh, takeoff, landing, or whatever the, these videos are going to be. It seems like they did it in-house or maybe off the air. They probably used the VR5100 for the recordings because this was able to be recorded directly into a TV tuner type of setup. And if they're recording right off the air of, of a broadcast, they probably would have used the VR5100. This is only a black and white machine. There is no color compatibility for this machine at all. Same thing with the VR7000. This is also a black and white uh, machine, no color uh, capability whatsoever. So either way, it looks like they they used a black and white machine. I'm assuming they used the 5100 for the off-air recordings, which is what I think these are. It looks like maybe they recorded maybe one of the television stations and they just let it run and swapped out reels and recorded the entire broadcast. That's what I think it is. And they did it on the VR5100. I'm pretty sure of it. Now, this is a black and white machine off-air with built-in tuner recorder. So you could record TV like a VCR on this machine. But it's only black and white. The VR7000, which is the one I have, uh, is a uh, black and white machine. And you can configure it to record TV, but it doesn't have a television tuner built into it. So they probably didn't use this to record off the air, if that's what that is. If these are off-air recordings of the Apollo 14, maybe a CBS, NBC, or whatever it is, they most likely use the VR5100. This is their manual right out of NASA. So I'm just going by the manual they gave me because the tapes came. I got the tapes and I got the manual all together at the same time. So this tells you that somebody got the, remaining, the remainder of these tapes, which there's six of them. I got two tapes in the manual, so somebody else got the uh, four reels of tape without the manual and not without the two remaining tapes. So hopefully I'll find the, the person who has the remainder of these tapes and we could do a deal and get these, do this whole conversion and get it done. But doing a little investigation today and it looks like the VR5100 with built-in tuner, TV tuner, black and white recorder is the machine that they used. It's, you know, sometimes you have to do a little digging to figure out the problems on these tapes, but I just wanted to make sure. So I, I did get the manual that came with the tapes from NASA. 
And it shows you they're black and white. And I, I'm assuming these are either NBC or CBS direct off-air recordings that they, that they recorded uh, with the machine on a VR5100. And maybe they had uh, a VR7000 as a dubbing machine to make copies because... Or they had it in a daisy chain where this would be able to record whatever this signal was uh, recording at the same time. There, there could have been multiple reasons why they had VR7000s, which are black and white recorders, and VR5100s, which are black and white tuner, TV tuner, black and white recorders. But, but these are the two machines they had directly in NASA, the 7000 and the 5100 series. Both of these machines take the video head that I'm making. It's the same video head used in both units. So we're going to, uh, and plus the, the VR7500 that I have, uh, that's a color black and white unit. It's not going to make that much of a difference. I think a lot of these tapes will be black and white due to the fact I don't think people could afford the color adapter. And I think a lot of these earlier decks were bought because they were probably cheaper than the several. There was a few models at the very end, very end that were made that were color units, but I bet they were very expensive and nobody really bought those. So I think a majority of these tapes are going to be black and white. I think since this is television stuff, most of this stuff was done on a VR5100. I think uh, NASA just happened to have a 7000 and 5100. Maybe they had multiple of these two decks that they were recording or dubbing or whatever the deal was. And I think these are off-air recordings from NASA directly from, from, from Cape Canaveral during the time of the broadcast of the liftoff for the Apollo 14 going to the moon. That's what I think these two tapes are. There is four tapes missing, so if you guys can help track them down, please do. I really would like to, to do a complete transfer of this broadcast with all six tapes. And... Uh, but we now figured out what the deal is. NASA had two machines, a 7000 and a 5100. Both are black and white. Both of them are non-color compatible. And both of them record black and white only. And this one here records black and white with TV tuners for actually recording off television itself. Where this one could have been daisy chained or a couple of them to connect with this one. And they could have recorded multiple tapes at the same time or dubs. But it looks like these moon landing tapes are going to be direct off-air stuff. Uh, maybe CBS, maybe NBC, I'm not too sure. But today we wanted to do some digging, and I think we figured out the whole process behind these tapes. Hope you enjoyed this video.